The human immunodeficiency retrovirus, known as HIV, causes AIDS. HIV consists of an outer bilipid envelope taken from an infected cell's plasma membrane with protruding GP120 receptors. Inside, a protein coat surrounds a cone-shaped viral core containing two identical positive strands of RNA and an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. Upon entrance into the bloodstream, these viruses attach to any cell that has CD4 receptors, such as those found on T4 cells, also known as helper cells. The GP120 receptors on the viral outer envelope attach to the CD4 molecules on the plasma membrane of the T4 membrane. The virus fuses with the cell when the transmembrane component, GP41, penetrates the T4 cell wall. This fusion results in the delivery of the cone-shaped capsid into the cytoplasm of the host cell. Once inside, the protein layer enclosing the viral core dissolves. The two viral RNA strands and their accompanying reverse transcriptase enzymes are released into the cytoplasm. The enzymes move along the RNA, transcribing it into a strand of DNA which circularizes. The circular strand of DNA now enters the host cell nucleus where it integrates into one of the cell's chromosomes to become a provirus where it can remain latent for long periods of time. When activated, a transcriptase enzyme transcribes the proviral DNA into a series of different sized mRNAs. The largest is for the replication of the viral RNA. The smaller fragments are transcribed into proteins which are used to build the new virus. New protein capsids develop around RNA strand pairs and move toward the cell membrane. These new virus components then move to the surface of the cell where they bud through the cell membrane and acquire their envelope. Repeated budding damages and sometimes kills the host cell. Upon release, the new virus is ready to invade another T cell with CD4 receptors and the process begins again.